Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football with Mike Lucas. Coach, before we went to break, we were talking about that big win against Nichols. Why don't you walk us through the first half highlight? Let's take a look. Well, it was senior day. It's always the uh, hardest day for me to say goodbye to the seniors. We've had these guys have been here, most of them, since the uh, 2003 season, and it was very tough to say goodbye to these guys. Well, Nichols got a tough football team, and uh, coming out running that option, they're so physical. You can uh, really see our guys up front. Uh, Ryan Goder and Mark Newbill, our two linebackers, did an outstanding job. And uh, here we are with uh, Trey from Hammond, Trey Douglas coming up, making a big hit on the pitch for a tackle for a loss. And then uh, a play action pass. George Leverett uh, actually um, sacks the quarterback here right after he throws the pass and uh, hurts their quarterback. It was a great effort by George coming off a block and getting into their quarterback. Uh, they had to bring in their backup, uh, Chovan from uh, Thibodeau. It was a big stop for us here. That was a, a third down play, tackled by Jared Byers. Jared had probably his best game of the season. Uh, they did a good job against Jay early. They had really uh, game plan Jay in the running game. And uh, took us till about the second half to get him warmed up. This was a nice catch by Byron Ross. It was just a third down play, pass from Brian Babin to get us a first down. Nichols is very good defensively. We really had to work for every yard we got. Nice pass by Brian. Again to uh, Byron. Hustling downfield to get on the fumble. Uh, our offensive lineman and running backs hustling downfield. There's a nice run by Jay. Again, every yard here was a tough yard to get. They're so physical up front. This throw was a great read on the free safety by Brian and uh, hits Byron in the hands. We need to be able to hold on to that ball. And we change up our option responsibilities here. We put our end on the quarterback, made the quarterback have a bad read. It was tackled for a loss by Brennan Harris. This is a big third and 15 play. They got a 6-6 wide receiver. Tony Johnson goes up and tries to make a play. We got out jumped. And uh, it was a big first down on their touchdown drive. And then the uh, quarterback sneak for the touchdown. Puts us down 7-0 in the first quarter. Little play action uh, pump fake, and we get a uh, pass interference call here for Keelum Davis. Tommy Connors made a great read here. It's Mark Newbill and Tommy Connors on the tackle on big Broderick Cole. Tommy had a great game. Another play action pass. They ran a little bootleg where they drug the tight end, and uh, again, it was an overthrow. We had Andre Cryer returning punts this week. Andre uh, needs to fair catch that ball when those folks get that close to him. He tried to return it. We were lucky that ball rolled out of bounds. Here's a third and short play. A throw to Brock DeLong in the flat on the play action pass. It's a good read by Brian getting the ball to Brock. A nice catch and run. Brian underthrows this ball. We, we had uh, Byron behind the safety and the ball was underthrown in their safety. They're so good at their safety position with Moore and Webb, probably the best two safeties in the league. Uh, this is great effort by our offensive linemen and running backs receivers getting this guy tackled. They're very good at running the ball after the interceptions. Uh, this is a great read here by Ryan Godair on uh, the counter play. And then we got a lot of pressure uh, on their field goal kicker, and he missed two field goals that he pulled to the left, which, as you can tell in the final score, were very critical plays in the game. And Mike Neville here at quarterback, we tried a little throwback screen to the tight end, and their safety read it perfectly and intercepted it, and, uh, ran it in for a touchdown. Again, a good job on option responsibilities. Tommy Connors on the quarterback. Donald Frazier on the pitch, good run to the ball, swarming to the ball. Everybody's got to get to the football. And uh, we go in at halftime, down 13-0. Well, Coach, you go into halftime, you're trailing 13-0. Kind of unfamiliar territory for, the, for you this year. What did you say in the locker room? 
Well, we had some adjustments to make on both sides of the football. I thought that Coach Condell made some good adjustments uh, in the run game, some blocking scheme things. And uh, uh, defensively, there were some things that they were doing to us up front that uh, we needed to make some alignment. Not, not major adjustments, just a few alignment things and uh, a couple change-ups on option responsibilities to, to see how they – because it's always interesting to see how Nichols is going to attack you from week to week. They gave us a little unbalanced line formation that we had to get adjusted to. So uh, basically it was just, hey, guys, we got 30 minutes left in our season, and uh, let's go out and finish this one for the seniors. Coach, once, once Montgomery went down, was there any game plan changing? Not at all. The, the Chauvin, their backup quarterback, is a very capable guy. In fact, he's even a better thrower than Montgomery is. So uh, with Montgomery in there, we were very focused on the run game and just it kind of played man in the back end on the play action. Chauvin can really throw the ball. So uh, it added to them some things that uh, – in the, in the passing game that we really had to make some adjustments on the sidelines. All right, Coach.